Hey, what's up guys? This is Jerry from Awkward Gaming coming at you with another Pokemon Showdown video. Uh, this is going to be our first video, so I don't know what I'm saying coming at you with another one. I mean, I did record one before, but the guy was a total, total asshole. Like, just mean comments back and forth. Just, well, not back and forth, there's one way. I don't I don't talk to people on Showdown. But anyway, let's let's look for a battle. Nah, man, I'm, I'm playing this. Alright, let's look for a battle. So, we got uh, the Flipper... The flip burr joined all right i mean i just got my name right there e is my last name but it doesn't matter whoa this guy's got a vocal run of his own um i'm actually really afraid of what this guy's gonna lead with he might lead with the toke kiss and go just for the flinch hacks which i'm kind of scared of he's not probably not gonna lead with the berloom so i'm not i don't really need to worry about that so i'm gonna assume that he's gonna lead with the toke kiss um my best bet, honestly, would be Scizor. So let's go with uh, Scizor, or Scizor, as some people like to call it. But, you know, it's Scissor, Scizor. Uh, I'm really glad he got a Mega Evolution. Like, he just looks so cool. At first, I was going to name my Scizor, like, Chainsaw Hands. But, because uh, they kind of look like Chainsaws. But I ended up just naming him, like, Red Comet. Because, you know, Gundam refer references. Okay, he did lead with the Berloom. That's kind of... Expected and unexpected at the same time, so I'm gonna switch to Espeon. He could go for a Spore if he wants to. That's totally fine. I kind of encourage it. He did go for the Spore, and I'm gonna bounce that back. But of course, you can't put a Grass-type Pokemon to sleep with a Grass-type move. So, uh, he's got um, Bisharp, so I'm gonna go for the HP Ground. Hopefully, this overprediction is correct. I overpredicted. It was bad. Well, just, it's like a 50-50 shot, you know? I mean, like, I'm just gonna go for the Psychic now. I mean, I still should, I think I, nope, 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 never mind, never mind. That was a dumb move. All right, that sucks for me, but it's, it's okay. I still got Dragonite. Um, I got that uh, resistance to all of his moves. He's gonna go for a Spore this time, hopefully. So, I'm gonna go for a Dragon Dance. Hopefully, he doesn't go for that Rock Tomb he did earlier. And uh, he won't suspect that I have the Lumberry, because this guy didn't remember that Espeon has Magic Bounce. And I over predicted like a chump. I mean, if I, made, if I called the prediction right, that would have been a good prediction. But uh, I didn't. Okay, so obviously, I'm gonna be faster than him now. He's probably gonna have Mock Punch just to get some chip damage. Um, I think think because of that he definitely has mock punch so i think i'm gonna go for the e-speed um yeah, you know what i've been over predicting like like crazy i'm just gonna go for the dragon claw he doesn't have any fairy types he does have a fairy type he does but hey it's okay because uh, he didn't switch that fairy type in and i just scratched my nose so you probably heard that over the mic probably but uh chances are his togekiss is gonna come in Oh, Rotom. Um, wow, what is he going to go for? The I really wish I had Espeon right now. He's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. But you know what? I'm already 1-1. One, one. So let's go for the Dragon Claw and let's pray for critical power. Come on, Arceus. You know, I give my blood sacrifice to you. Pokemon God, please. Come on. And you failed me. Can you miss? No! I'm burned! Alright, this Dragonite is dead useless. Okay, let's go for another Dragon Claw. He's he's dead to me. My Dragonite's dead to me. Ah oh, man. Just I couldn't get the crit. He got the burn. He couldn't miss the burn. You know, if he missed, I would be in such a good position right now. Such a good position, but now and I'm super sad. Um, kind of surprised he switched Volcarona in on me though, like Togekiss would have done the job better, in my opinion, but, uh, I, uh, then again, I'm the guy that over-predicted and went for the Psychic when I thought he'd go into Bisharp, because, you know, reasons, but this guy's taking a really long time to make his decision, uh, he's the one that put up the timer too, so it's kind of weird. It's really weird when people put up the timer uh, to make the turns run faster, but they themselves take a really long time, and I just gotta like sit here and wait. Even though they have like one Pokemon left, they throw up the timer, 
and then they take the full time, and then they, like, pick a Pokemon. It's like, bro, you had one Pokemon to pick. Like, did you really have to make a hard decision? Um, he's got 90 seconds left. Really wasting time at this point. I mean, dude, I got a Dragonite that's burned. Multi-scale is broken. Anybody could come in and deal damage to me, but, uh, he's taking his sweet time. Really taking his sweet time. I really don't know what this guy- Finally! Alright, so he switches into Volcarona, which, uh, kinda sucks for me because, uh, I'm burned. If I wasn't burned, I'd be in a much better position, but he's probably gonna go for the Quiver Dance, and, uh, I got really no one on my team who could really deal with it, so I'm just gonna have to go balls to the walls, Dragon Claw this guy in the face. He switches! Why? I don't understand why would you do that. That makes no sense to me. Okay, that's fine. I'll just extreme speed. You can air slash me, dazzling gleam, it doesn't matter. Why would you switch in Volcarona? I don't understand. Okay, you know what? I'm not in his position. I don't know his uh, thought process. Ah, oh, man. If I wasn't burned, that would have done some good damage. But uh, let's go for that extreme speed again. Uh, honestly, I'm just waiting for Dragonite to go down. You know, 20%. He's going for a wish? Why would you go for a wish? Just, just finish it. I mean, you want to protect right now? You know what? I'm going to go for the Fire Punch. Because I don't know what he wants to do. I mean, if he protects, then the Fire Punch is null and void. But if he switches into, like, Bisharp, for whatever reason... No, he just stayed in. And my Fire Punch didn't go off. Okay. Sure, buddy. You got your, uh... You got your thing. That's cool. You got your health back. You know, a bullet punch... One bullet punch is enough to kill you. From Mega Scizor. I mean, that's that's it. And, uh, I think... I don't know if I should get greedy and go for the Swords Dance. Uh... Because I guess he, he could flinch me or go for the Paralysis, but I kind of don't think this is the guy. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go for the straight up Bullet Punch. I'm, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to punch this guy in the face. Uh, it's because, I don't know, he's really he's making some pretty interesting moves. Interesting, that's that's the best way to put it. And he switches into Volcarona. Am I going to get the burn? Give me the burn. No burn. Awesome. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to switch into Hitmontop. I really wish I had Espeon still. Or, uh... Or I could have switched into my own Volcarona. That would have been probably a good idea. So him switching out probably means he's Choice Scarfed. Um, I'm going to go for the Fake Out. And watch me get the burn right now. Like, anytime I'm using my Volcarona and I'm praying for the burn, because it's, like, really clutch, it never happens. But anytime it happens to, like, my opponent... It always happens. It's just like, really? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody has that problem. And uh, you, you remember the bad more than you remember the good. Oh man, that fake out did a lot of damage. And no burn. Awesome. So, he might go for the um, attacking move this time. So I'm going to go for the sucker punch. Hopefully that kills. And it... Barely doesn't kill, and he goes off and does his own move, and the, the burn's gonna kill him. Oh no, he was life orbed. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that, that oh, I get a free switch into Scizor. Sweet. Okay. Um, no matter who he switches into, Metagross, uh, Bisharp, Togekiss, I can get a free Swords Dance. Uh, I can go for the Bullet Punch on the Togekiss, the Bug Bite on the, uh, what's his face? Bisharp for neutral damage. Is, I think it's neutral. Is it? It's neutral. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's neutral. I'll check later. Um, and then I can go for the Bug Bite again on the Metagross, because unless the Metagross is packing the Fire Punch, which I really hope it does it now that I think about it. No, no, no. Most Metagrosses don't pack the Fire Punch. They usually pack the Ice Punch for them Fire Types. I mean, not fire types, dragon types. But, uh, I don't know. This, this guy's been making some pretty different 
moves, and you know sometimes different is what you know brings you the game. So uh, again, this guy's taking a really long time to pick his decision. Really taking a long time. I mean, it may not seem long to you guys, and I might seem like impatient, but like when I go on showdown, I'm just like click, 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 and you're done. But uh, anyway, I got since I already mega evolved, and I didn't get the burn earlier. That's totally awesome. So I'm gonna go for the swords dance because I got roost on this scissor, so I can take a hit and then absorb. Not absorb. I can uh, uh, regain all that health back. Uh, as long as they don't do like over half on the first hit. Oh, mega, mega. Okay, didn't go, didn't go over half. So I'm gonna play it safe and go for the roost because I am slower than him. Definitely slower. Or maybe I should have went for another. No, nope, no, nope, he's going for brick breaks. All right, so now I'm at a much better position. I think this time I'm gonna go for the bug bite. And just bite his face off with his little goatee spike thing. I mean, like, Metagross's, Mega Metagross's design is pretty cool. It's just, I really don't get why they gave him a goatee. Like, out of nowhere. And I'm surprised that didn't kill him. Really surprised. Um, I resist both of his stabs, except for the Brick Break. I mean, Brick Break is not stabbed, so... Um... I think I could go for another roost, or I could try to go for a bullet punch. Eh, let's go for a roost. Play it safe. Because uh, the instant that, uh, what's his face, uh, Bisharp comes in, he's going to go for the sucker punch, because that's all Bisharp is really good for. And that's like, anytime I see Bisharp, it's always sucker punch, sucker punch, sucker punch. It's just like, I mean, do you not know any other moves? Like, of course you do. You got like Pursuit, Knock Off, and maybe Iron Head, but like... I don't know, some other guy mentioned that like Sucker Punch is like a no skill move because all you have to do is like spam it and like it gives you, gives your opponent um, a lot of pressure. So let's go for a second Swords Dance um, because I'm at 96% and uh, Scizor just wins games like this. So right now I'm at plus 3, oh it says times 3, I'm at times, I'm at times 3 attack plus 4 attack boost. Um, I could go for a roost or another sword stance, but I think I'm going to go for the bullet punch and try to take this thing out. I know it's resisted, but at that rate, yeah, taking it down. Awesome. Okay, so now he's got, uh, he's definitely not going to bring out the toad kiss, so he's going to try to play his luck on the bit sharp. Yeah. So I'm going to go for a roost, try to get as close to full HP as possible. Because yeah, there you go. See, I knew he'd go for the sucker punch. That's all they ever do. So I know I'm going to get hit with the uh, Sucker Punch, so right now I'm going to go for the Swords Dance. Might as well get to plus 6, right? Watch, he's going to go Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Do it. Just punch me. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Swear to me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Come on, hit me! Hit me! Come on, dude! Just... Are you really thinking about your next move? Hit me! Do it! I knew it! Sucker Punch! Swords Dance! Plus six, you're dead. You're dead. I don't care. Forfeit. Match is forfeited. That's a win. That's a win. That is a win. No. Whoa. Yeah, he forfeited. And he went. He went for the sucker punch. But I. Wow. That sucker punch did a lot of damage. But it's a forfeit either way. That's that's game. All right, guys. That's the game. Um, I did have to play a little stally there with Scizor, but you know, it's 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 showdown. Playing Wi-Fi battles on the DS totally play way differently, totally play way differently, that's kind of weird for me to say, but anyway, they play super different than they do on Showdown, uh, Showdown gives you access to literally everything, and that's not what I like, so, thanks for watching, and, uh, hopefully this commentary wasn't boring, see you guys next time.